Well, good afternoon. Mostly cloudy out here today in every part of the valley we've been dealing with clouds. This is in Devil's Lake. You can see the gray skies. I want to point out what's going on on the ground, too. We had snow there, and a lot of that is melting on the grassy surfaces. It's been off the roads for a while. On the edges here, we still have some snow and a nice little pile of snurt there. <laughs> Plenty of dirt located within that snow. That's going to take longer to melt, obviously, but uh, some of those grassy areas, we'll see that uh, continue melting here today. A look at our current conditions. We have some areas where we're warming up well above freezing. Fargo right now at 37 degrees. A lot of 34s checking in here. Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, uh, Detroit Lakes, and Fergus Falls all at 34 degrees. It's 36 in Bemidji. So warming above freezing and and, uh, starting that melting process or continuing it from yesterday. And winds are not as strong, too. They're still out of the north or northwest, uh, but they are more into that 5 to 15 mile per hour range here as we're heading into the afternoon. So it's nice to get a break from the wind, too. And there are still some flakes out there, still a few flurries, but overall it's just mostly cloudy with some breaks in those clouds, too. And that's where we see those darker areas showing up here, up around the Lake of the Woods, Red Lake area, another little pocket just east of Hubbard County and even some brightening going on here uh, in the uh, heart of the valley too. So there might be some moments where you see a little sunshine peek through heading into the afternoon, but overall a mostly cloudy day. Keeping my eyes on that snow in southern parts of Saskatchewan, that's going to try to drop into more places like the Minot area, and we could see a few more sprinkles or flakes here before the week ends. And here's a look at that in our hour-by-hour -hour planner. So heading into the afternoon, again, a few breaks in the clouds, but overall mostly cloudy. Temperatures will climb back into the low to some mid 40s in most areas that wind remains lighter than the last couple of days, though we can't rule out a gust into the low 20 mile per hour range here heading into the afternoon hours. This evening, you can see that there are some places where we might have a few sprinkles pop up heading into tonight, closer to where we're noticing that moisture earlier on, uh, out to the west. And then heading into the overnight hours and into tomorrow, you can see mostly cloudy skies and a pocket or two of sprinkles or flurries will be hanging around again for your Friday. So this is Friday morning. We're starting off with temperatures right around freezing, and we'll warm back into the 30s to some low 40s by lunchtime, and slightly warmer than today. Some more places into the mid 40s and some upper 40s tomorrow, but uh, this is certainly not warm. We've been in the 70s already this season, so this won't feel all that warm, but it is better than uh, yesterday and the day before. And in addition, we have these sprinkles here for you this after tomorrow afternoon, rather. But watch as those clouds continue to drop southward heading into your Friday night. We'll eventually be clearing out, and that sets us up for a pretty nice weekend. This tells the story. These were some tulips that are emerging, and then they got coated in snow. So as that snow is melting, it'll provide a little bit of water for those tulips there, but a little bit of spring and winter going on. Thanks, Kirsten, for sharing your photo. And a look at your seven-day planner. Again, Saturday does look really nice. We'll see temperatures back into the low 50s and plenty of sunshine. Sunday, at least the first half of the day looks pretty good. Now, second half, we've got a cold front approaching for that part of the weekend and into Monday. And so we'll see those clouds increase and chances for a little mix Sunday night and into Monday. And that's our best shot at some precipitation over the next week. It will cool us down. We're kind of in a cooler stretch here now as we head into next week. We look directly at the weekend and see that it's going to be a little, I guess, warmer is what we're trying to say than it is the rest of the week. But like you said, that moisture will be helpful as well. Thanks, Lisa. We're well, reminded that Minnesota is testing its emergency outdoor sirens today. You'll hear them twice. The first siren test will happen statewide at 145 this afternoon. Schools and businesses are encouraged to conduct a tornado drill at that time. A second test will happen at 645 p.m. when you can practice your emergency plan at home with your family. Well, straight ahead at noon, one teacher spreading positivity and encouragement by making thousands of bracelets for kids. We'll tell you where you can get one up next.